Ladies and gentlemen, cryptos are about to blow up like crazy. And if you've got no idea why I'm saying that or what I'm talking about, as you guys might or might not be aware of, we're only about 70 days away from the Bitcoin halving. And every single time the halving comes around, the price is significantly higher. I mean, even right now, we are at roughly a 4x from the previous halving, as right there, the price was 9,760. And so the baseline is, it's inevitable, in my opinion. And you got to understand that the next Next, I'm going to say 90 days or so will be your most important to prepare for what's about to happen next. And I often hear people say, Dusty, but Bitcoin won't go that high. It's only altcoins. And I say, it's very wise to focus on Bitcoin in times of great strength for it, which are just before and just after the halving and altcoins in an alt season, which are basically identified by a decreasing Bitcoin dominance, less major events for Bitcoin. Right now, we obviously had the Bitcoin halving and, of course, the whole spot ETF situation. But as we focus on Ethereum ETFs and the halving fades away, and we're now just waiting for the next big thing, altcoins become the main section. That does not mean that I'm not going crazy on altcoins now. It means that I've not sold much Bitcoin to go crazy on alts. That comes a little bit further down the road. But more importantly, I often hear people say, Dusty, you talk about these altcoins as if they can go to these crazy heights, but they can't. There's not enough money. And I often hear that excuse when I talk about XRP or Solana or any other coin for that matter. I'll tell you three stories. Story number one is you don't need that much money to make millions of dollars. As you guys all know, I bought this coin extremely early, saw my investment go down 99 whatever percent. It was one cent in October here. Right now it's trading at $1.50, a 150x. And if this keeps going for a bit, it might actually be the best trade that I've basically ever made. But that would have required what, $6,000? And that would have turned into a million in the span of what, three months? Just to give you guys some idea. I think less than $6,000 actually at the Nasana peak. There are many coins out there which will not go crazy in terms of market cap, but still do crazy multipliers. This is not sponsored. I want you guys to understand that. But VR, for example, I think could do really well. The way they've set themselves up, I do believe they got a massive spike potential. Again, a little insider from Mr. Dusty here. It's got a similar chart to Nasana. Personal aim, I'm going to say like a couple dollars, like $6, $5 or something. You might call me crazy, but I sometimes am. And I cannot guarantee you anything, but I'm telling you right now, I sometimes go for these plays because these are the million dollar makers, right? This is where you turn $20,000 into 3 million in just the span of a few months. And I sometimes go for those type of plays. People like to say, Dusty, it's not possible. Refer back to story one. Tell me again how it's impossible to make millions. Let's continue on. I will, to protect you guys say that most people out there are liars. If you see an article like this, don't straight up believe it. Most people seriously don't know what they're talking about. And very often they are biased. Don't go by attention either. I like to focus on the results. A good example is Jim Cramer, very well known analyst or whatever you want to call him, TV personality. He is the main man that people look at when trading stocks. He's the one on the money show talking about the next big thing. But he sucks. I mean, we've analyzed it many times over. He sucks ass at calling out the next big thing. You have to understand two things. One is that the market will move inevitably. It will move up or down. With Bitcoin, it's very cyclical, meaning right now we're expecting a wave of bullishness for the next, I'd say, year or two. And afterwards, inevitably, it's going to come crumbling back down a lot. And that you won't be able to catch, this is point number two, most coins, but you don't need to. You only need to catch one of the right ones, or perhaps a few if you put really, really small amounts of money into each to get you to where you want. But know that even here with my VR play, for example, I put some money into it because, and I really want you to understand, it's not sponsored in any way, shape or form. I've never spoken with them, but I'm seeing certain things. Not because I'm believing in this one, like to the fullest, it's because I'm putting into different bags that I think, hey, maybe that one's gonna blow up, maybe that one's gonna blow up. I'm noticing some signs and I snap it, but it might fail. This is different than with these pre-sales where I know they'll do well. It's just about getting more money into it or even being able to buy in. Those are two different things. But to get back to uh, our point number one at the beginning or something, my videos sometimes are so unorganized, I hate it. But hey, that's kind of how my brain works in some way. I wanted to quickly refer to this tweet right here. Vance said, put it into context. Meta added $200 billion market cap in a single daily trading session. Bitcoin is $400 billion of market cap away from its all-time high. Bitcoin is 75 daily trading sessions away from happening. And people like to say, nah, it can't happen. No, it's the, the. what are we talking about, guys? What are we talking about? 
I have so many things to say there. First of all, do you know that every single cycle, right? Every single cycle, more money is added to the pool. Meaning 20 years ago, for example, a trillionaire would have sounded ridiculous. But now to think of it, if Microsoft, if Bill Gates never sold shares, I think he would have been a trillionaire by now, right? The company's what, worth three trillion? And right now we're thinking of quadrillionaires or whatever as something very, very far into the future. But these things move quite exponentially. And then you start thinking again about the value of money, your fiat currency being kind of stupid. And I personally also see it in a way of if you really are dead ass broke to the fullest extent and you're not actively making changes, you're just begging doing nothing. That's kind of on you if you want to change it, that is. Because money is everywhere, guys. It really is. If you start thinking about it, $200 billion worth of market cap in a single daily trading session, just one day, 200 billion gets added. Anyway, then coming back to crypto, I think this session, this cycle will be the biggest. It will be the easiest to make money in, and it might be the last where it's so easy to make money in. It's getting so far away from being this wild, wild west that things are going to move a lot slower over time. Yes, there'll be more money in it, but it will basically go towards the stock realm where some of the biggest ones, they move a lot less crazily and the ones that really make it out are the ones that have proper backing by polychain and just some of the biggest guys in the game right to refer back to it right now what we're waiting for is her big gonna break its all-time high and the moment that it happens i'll most likely start exiting positions slowly probably maybe even every day just small positions out of bitcoin adding to my altcoins for a bit because i think the next couple of months would be huge but understanding that the cycle will at some point end then again and this is the most important part to understand it's very hard for people to predict just how crazy huge this is going to go and the amount of gains that will be made. I mean, crypto is still peanuts. It really is so small in the grand scheme of things. So do not think. Can I also quickly plug that most coins I've been talking about here recently have been doing really, really well because we're in a market point already where no, the retail is not in. And we can show this with the Google Trends that even though people are searching crypto, it's really not a lot relatively to how it is in, you know, bull market season. But the excitement is already here. The initial gains are being made. The 100 X's are already to be found. They're a lot more rare than in the next couple of months, but that they're ready. And so what I really want you guys to do, this is a humble request, is to focus now. Get yourself set, understand the basics, know how to send transactions, you know, these crypto transactions. Get yourself on some exchanges. Have an exit strategy in place. Prepare those things right now because at some point it's going to be too late. And the worst thing of the whole crypto market is the stress. You can get a 100x overnight and lose it all the next day. It can happen. And if you're not prepared, if you don't know fully what you're in it for, you might and most likely will just lose everything again. And I really want you guys to get rich, if you're not that already, and stay rich and just Make sure, make sure, make sure that you know what you're doing. And it doesn't come or it doesn't mean you have to know exactly which cryptos you want to buy. That will come. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about knowing exactly what you're comfortable with losing, how to get in and out and where to buy these things, what area you want to focus on, airdrops, meme coins, gaming coins, AI coins, or all of them. It's possible. Get acquainted with some of them already so you understand the industry a bit and a half-assed exit plan. I don't mean get exactly in order exactly how many dollars you want to cash out because I understand it's quite difficult, but get more familiar with the fact you're going to have to at some point exit and that if you wait too long, your money will keep coming down. But if you do it too early, you might instead of getting a 5000 X only make a three X. And to some people, that's worst or that's worse. So just it all depends. But get more familiar with all this. I'll be making more crypto updates as time goes along. I will talk about a lot of cool cryptos on the channel. A lot of them I think will do really, really well. It's hard to lose in a market like this. But yeah, hopefully see you guys again in another crypto video later today. Check out my airdrop guide if you haven't done it yet because there's a lot of free money. So yeah, yeah. see you guys later.